Yeah? Give me a wave. Well, <laughs> fantastic. I hope you're all having a brilliant time. We have got a fantastic afternoon of music for you here uh, on the Seven stage. Before we get started, a couple of little things. Our first act this afternoon is making her first appearance here at Shrewsbury. She is a singer-songwriter from East Yorkshire and she'll be mainly playing songs from her new album, which is called The Edge of the Land. And they are songs inspired by the landscapes and communities of where she grew up. Please give a huge welcome to Katie Spencer. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thanks so much. Cheers. Well, I really want to say good morning, although it's not. It certainly feels like it, though. Thanks so much for joining me so early, getting up out of bed. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, as Louisa said, it's my first time at this festival, so thank you so much for such a lovely welcome. It feels so friendly and uh, I enjoyed myself last night watching a lot of good music and looking forward to a lot more to come as well. Well, I'm playing songs from an album that I released last year and uh, that first number there was called Take Your Time. It's the opening track to the record. And the second one that followed that was an unrecorded song. It's called Home. But I'm going to play the title track to the album just now. It's, uh, it's called The Edge of the Land, and it's a collection of songs really inspired by the place where I, I spent a lot of time as a kid, um, which is up in Yorkshire, in case you hadn't guessed. Um, on the east coast there, just near Hull. This is a song that I was asked to write by a festival held there every year called the Freedom Festival. And they asked me to kind of write a song to celebrate the city and uh, kind of remember its maritime connections as well. And this is what I ended up coming up with. It's, um, 
It's really inspired by a wonderful collection of photographs as well uh, by a woman called Faye Godwin. Uh, she dedicated her life to kind of capturing the UK landscape in black and white. And uh, when I sat down to write this song, I had one of her books on my coffee table. And um, I was really drawn to her, her photographs of, of the East Coast and the River Humber there and the North Sea. And um, it made me think about the idea that up on the, up on the North East Coast there, the, the water not only kind of shapes the landscape, but it really shapes the people who live there as well. Um, so that's what's at the heart of this song, really, and it's called The Edge of the Land. Thank you very much. 
Well, I'm going to stick with that theme. I'm going to play another song inspired by that same place. This one has a little bit more of a city feel to it. It's a song called Shannon Road, and um, it's a song that I set out to write for my, my amazing grandma. She uh, was an incredibly resilient woman and uh, a big inspiration to pretty much everybody who, who, who met her. And uh, I wanted to kind of remember her in a song, um, but I ended up kind of writing the song about the, the city of Hull itself as well, because the two things are kind of inseparable. Um, and it's really just a collection of memories from my time spent growing up with her as a kid. And it's called Shannon, Ro Shannon Road, which is the kind of the name of the, the street that runs uh, right the way down this, this council estate in East Hull. And uh, I played uh, at Costa Festival in Ibiza a few months ago and uh, played this song and a guy came up to me at the end and he said, uh, bloody hell, I wouldn't have thought I'd have heard a song about Longer Estate in Ibiza. <laughs> Which was a nice little moment. So this is Shannon Road. Saturday night and I'm going past the Delphia Street again tonight but the street lights they still flicker on and off on and Oh, 
Here's a song from my first album. It's called Drink in the Same Water. How's everybody doing? You all okay? Yeah, one person's okay. That's good. I'm okay as well. (laughs) 
Well, I'm going to play um, another song from this album, and uh, it's a, a song that I wrote when I, I moved away from the landscape that I was talking about earlier on, um, which is East Yorkshire. I moved from the east to West Yorkshire. <laughs> I know it's a long way. And uh, it's really a song about connection, celebrating um, togetherness. I, uh, I moved there, and uh, I didn't really know anything about the place. Um, I moved from the flattest part of the country to a, a house that was essentially four rooms on top of each other on the side of a great big hill. Um, and so I had to really get my legs used to it. And uh, every day I would kind of walk up to the top of the hill that we live on. And uh, I'd look down into the valley and for the first time I had this kind of perspective um, on the landscape that I'd never really had before. Um, and I wanted to sort of capture those feelings really and document that moment so it's called silence on the hillside and um, it's about kind of being really enthralled by this idea that down in the in the bottom of the valley there where all the houses are um, there's at least one life unfolding inside each of those houses and uh, it's a really wonderful feeling um, For my last, I don't know, probably about four or five gigs, I've been playing by the sea, all in beautiful seaside locations, Saltburn and, uh, and Broadstairs and all kinds of places. And I've been the ultimate seaside tourist for the last few weeks. And uh, in every place that I've been, uh, everybody has kind of resonated with it, this idea that um, People, people always move to the seaside. So where I live in West Yorkshire just now, um, so many people migrate over to the east to visit the seaside. And so obviously growing up in that landscape, we had a name for people from West Yorkshire, which was comforts. Because people from West Yorkshire, they always comfort day. <laughs> it's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> So I'm, adopt I'm in a, an adopted comfort, I guess. It's a song about that. Silence on the hillside. And the rain has come along just to give you the, exactly the right vibe.
productivity A reminder that the shadows of stress will die Thanks so much for sticking with it. <laughs> You're all very well prepared, which is delightful. <laughs> I'm going to sing a song now which mentions, um, it mentions snow, but I'm not trying to make anything happen. <laughs> it's called Sweet and Gentle, and um, it's another one from this record.
Well, it's a real treat to be able to share this guitar with you. Um, this guitar is, is kind of uh, rather new to me. Um, I've not been playing it for, for too long. And um, I'd been on a quest to try and find something like this for quite a long time. It's a Gibson ES125 for those guitar heads out there. And um, I saw it in a shop window in London and uh, fell in love with it right away. But the only problem was that the, the shop was closed at the time. Um, so I went back the next morning straight away, only to find it wasn't hanging there in the window anymore. And they'd hidden away in the basement. They'd hidden it down there and uh, changed the mind about selling it. Um, but I managed to persuade them otherwise. And uh, I was very happy that I got my hands on it. But I remember one of the first gigs that I played with it, and uh, it was at one of my favorite venues um, up in Sheffield. And uh, I sort of very excitedly set off talking about this guitar, and I said, the, I said this guitar is very old. Um, and then I proceeded to say that it was built in 1952, um, much to the dismay of half my audience, I must say. <laughs> But it's very exciting to think about the music that could have been played on it over the years, and uh, hopefully it's uh, got a lot more years of music making. I'm going to play this, and then I'll play a couple of new songs that, um, that I've written on this guitar. This is a song called Forevermore, and uh, it's the last one from my album. I've got some copies uh, just at the back there um, in Roots Records. If you like the sound of what you're hearing, I'll be over at the back later. So this is called Forevermore, and it's a song that I wrote when I was trying to sort of remind myself to uh, kind of make as many decisions with as much love as I could do. Forevermore. Shoot well with your trailer 
darkness turn to light within God only knows what'll happen then You don't know whether you're coming or going forevermore forevermore Sending all of my love to you oh. And maybe then When you open the door The sun will shine and fall So tie me down Say what you will Make it quick I know it'll hurt like hell It's the fourth time We've been here before But it won't happen Anymore Thank you. Well, here come a couple of new songs. These were both written on this guitar. Um, the first one is called It Was Then That I Knew Love. Great. Brand new song. It was then that I knew love. And it 
yet existed beyond blood When they found me alone to Existed beyond blood when I lived with a family, brothers and sisters just like me. Hey, it was then that I knew love, and it existed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I hope you're all okay out there in your cagoules and your umbrellas. <laughs> Thanks so much for sticking around. It's really lovely. I'm going to sing the second of, of two new songs, and uh, this is called Goodbye. It's another one written in close succession uh, on this guitar. I've been having a great time touring these songs, uh, playing uh, this album, and one of the first places that I visited. I kind of been all over the place, and uh, I went to South Wales, and this venue was dubbed the UK's smallest theater. So I turned up at this place, and it was one of those where you have to ring the bell in order to be let in. <laughs> if you just walk in and open the door, you'd knock half the audience off the seats. So I went in there, and I took everything in, all my gear, and, uh, and the guy who owned the place, he helped me carry half of it back out again. I won't be needing that. And when I was kind of, when I was setting up, he told me that the entire footprint of the whole venue was the size of a disabled parking bay. <laughs> so you can imagine the fun that we had. I played under a stairwell. It was very, very glamorous indeed. Yeah, thank God I sold it out. <laughs> I 
All right, this is a song called Goodbye, brand new. Thank you so much. Well, I'm just going to uh, play one more number. Um, but yeah, huge thanks again for, for coming over and sticking it out through the rain. Um, it's been a real treat to play uh, Shrewsbury for the first time. So big thanks to Sandra and everyone who makes it happen. It's lovely. I'll be over at the back, the, the Roots Records, a uh, little tent just down here um, with some albums and things like that if you like the sound of what you're hearing. Um, but for now, I'm going to play um, one of my favourite songs. If you're a John Martin fan, I think you'll know this number. Yeah.
Enjoy the rest of your festival. Have a wonderful time. I'll see you around. This is called Small Hours. Thank you so much. Have a great festival. Cheers. But yeah, absolutely incredible. Katie Spencer, what a beautiful Woo. set. Please give it up for Katie. Yay. So Katie is out on tour in September and October, so you can go and see her then. Also her CD.